Hello folks, my name is Rojo, and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Last time, man, so many NPCs, unbelievable. I, uh, I have some good news and some bad news. The good news is, uh, well, the bad news is we have another NPC coming up. The good news is it's a cool NPC, so, uh, that's something. We'll go back and talk to the people back in Firelink Shrine later. Uh, I think for now, we want to go this way. I uh, can't recall. I hope I'm not missing anything too terribly important here. But yeah, let's bust this thing open. And uh, check out this tower a little bit. I always wonder in these games, who the fuck is lighting all these candles and shit? Because <laughs> there's nobody here. Uh, but, you know, that's okay. That's fine. That goes up. And, holy shit, it's an onion, bro. Check that out. I, f I flipped my shit when I saw this guy the first time. Let's have a chat with him, shall we? You can actually even look in his, uh, his helmet, just like, uh, uh, Siegmeier. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, that's one way to introduce yourself. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Pardon me, I was absorbed in thought. I am Siegbert of Katarina. To be honest, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Have you ever walked near a white birch only to be struck by a great arrow? Well, if I'm not mistaken, they come from this tower. Whoever it is, I'm sure I can talk some sense into them. But I have to find a way up. And that's just the trouble. This lift only goes down, you see, and... Uh, well, that doesn't get me anywhere. Hmm. Hmm. So you can definitely see his face in there a little bit now that I got the torch out. He's got, uh... He's got eyeballs and stuff. <laughs> um... Yeah, let's uh, talk to him a little bit more. This lift only goes down. But you know... With a little warming up, eventually... No. No. I've got to use my head and think. Hmm. Hmm. This lift... All right, he's uh, he's tapped out. Um, so when uh, we first came in and this was going up and down, or up rather, you could probably see that there was another platform there. Let's uh, let's help him out. Yeah, man, you just got to use your head and think. It's easy. I'm also gonna take this. I think we're gonna take this cleric's hat off. Let's put on the thief mask because it still looks good with his armor. Uh, in my opinion. Maybe it's not, like, perfect, but it's okay. But yeah, you can see there's another platform, so now if we step on this, we can go up. You can see there's a platform right there as well. Okay, so... Uh, if you recall in a previous episode, he, he talked about the, you know, the, the white birch and the giant and everything. Since we had our young white branch, uh, the giant didn't shoot at us. Very, uh, very important. Because here he is. <laughs> right here. Uh, you can kill this guy if you want, just like pretty much any uh, NPC in this game. I help any time. I help any time, he says. So, uh, yeah, if you come up and talk to him without starting with the, uh, the Young White Branch, he'll give you one. Um, and it'll serve kind of the same purpose. Uh, but, there's not really much else for us to do up here, uh, other than maybe take a look around real quick. I don't think there's any, uh, anything else up here, really. You can kind of see, he's got a pretty good, he's got a pretty good view of things. What does this say? Try death? Uh, I mean, yeah, man, you can, you can do it. You can do it. Look at all these crows and shit everywhere. I know they're just like particle effect textures, but still. Oh, we can see a, uh, a big-ass demon down there. 
Very, uh, very interesting, actually. I didn't realize uh, you could see that uh, area from here. I mean, I guess I should have known. But, uh, where the fuck did he go? He disappeared. Huh. Okay, well, anyway, that's fine. We'll, uh... We'll uh, go back downstairs now, I think. Um, is there anything else worth looking at? Actually, there's this, uh, this thing here. We'll actually be going there eventually. Okay. Oop, hang on. Phone being uh, obnoxious. Apologies for that. Uh, let's, let's see. And this is more undead settlement over here, I think. Anyway, let's, uh, yeah, let's go back down. I don't need to spend too much more time up here. And we'll go over this way. Hmm. Uh... So surely... <laughs> so... so <laughs> this kind of breaks continuity a little bit, but, uh, or at least the laws of physics. But, uh, we heard the secret up there. Let's, uh, go back up and see what's going on here. Where was that platform? Hmm. There it was. So, we heard him up here. So we went through here. How did he get up here? Did he actually do it with, do it with a little warming up? Because we had the elevator. Uh, so there's no way he could have made it up here. Yet, <laughs> here he is. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. Oh. Don't disappear like that. You had me downright worried. But thanks to you, an epiphany has struck me square in the head. I've unraveled the riddle of this inscrutable lift. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it seems that way. On some days, I begin to doubt myself. I went up the tower, so I thought then somehow ended up here. I'm not exactly sure what happened. Anyhow, do you see that? That humongous beast? I'm no coward and I have a steady hand, but that thing makes my skin crawl. How now? Think twice before you go down that road. That's probably not bad advice. I could try talking some sense into him, no, I think not. He's far too overheated. <laughs> I've got to use my head and think. Hmm. Hmm. I could try. I okay. Well, let's uh ignore his advice and come down here. Because <laughs> of course we uh of course we're gonna do that. Now, I'm a little bit nervous about this club because it's got such short range. Uh, we definitely don't need fire bombs right now. Uh, I'm thinking about actually buffing up with a little bit of this pine resin. Um, we're already embered, right? Uh, no, I don't want that on my bar. Uh, yeah, let's let's use some uh, some pine resin here. And here we go. We're gonna fight this motherfucker. Come on! I think I might have missed a treasure up there. That's okay. We'll get it later, maybe. Shouldn't have buffed quite so soon, though. Usually this guy comes charging at you. <laughs> Run away! No! You should have waited! Well, it's too late now. I, Zigward of the Knights of Katarina, fight by your side! Oh, ah! ow. So, yeah, Zigward's gonna help us out here a little bit. Appreciate that. Oh, come on, what the fuck was that? It wasn't anywhere near me. Hopefully he doesn't die here, I don't know if he can. But, uh, that would suck. Just beating this fucking thing mercilessly in the face. <laughs> A lot of stagger potential with this club. There we go, we got him. Okay, a little bit nervous there. We got a fire gem out of that, that's not bad. And now <laughs> he's just gonna chill out here. Usually, yeah, usually the demon comes right up after you. Uh, he's been a little bit closer in previous times that I've jumped down here, though. So the 
the event went, you know, it was a little, little bit tighter with the timing. <sighs> that was quite a performance. But you mustn't get in over your head. We unkindled must put our duties first. But for the moment, we've a toast to make. See, Rao. To your valor, my sword, and our victory together. Awesome. Long may the sun shine. <laughs> All right, you gave us the toast. Well, I'm going to have myself a little nap. The only thing to do, really, after a nice toast. <laughs> <laughs> And he's giving us a sleep gesture. All right, man. Let's uh, let's do it. Here's to you, buddy. Hooray! All right, let's uh, explore this area, shall we? We <laughs> we are so low on Estes right now. It's pretty bad. Uh, I don't know if we'll, we'll be able to get through this or not uh, without going back to the bonfire. But at the very very least, we uh, we got that demon killed. Without uh, Sieg, uh, Siegward uh, dying there, so that's good. That's definitely good. Let's, uh, yeah, all right. Let's let's go up here, I guess. First, I don't think it really matters. It's the hill that we came from. So, what have we got in here? Surely, some of these cages are going to come to life. One would expect. None of these ones in, in particular, apparently, but. Got some red bug pellets. That's uh, like a fire resist item, if I recall. And then up here, we have what? Let's get our torch out. A little bit dark in here, even though it's fa fairly bright outside. Now, these guys have to. Yeah, okay. I was going to say, there's got to be a couple guys over here. That's okay. We'll just, uh, we'll just grab the item anyway. Do this, uh, do this the old-fashioned way here. Oh, wasn't expecting that. There we go. All right, that's not so bad. You're giving us five more fading souls. That's, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Got some some old folks chilling out in some in their in the rocking chairs over there. <laughs> Something like that, anyway. And I don't think there's anything down there. That's just looking down where we were before. And I think you. Yes. You guys don't do very much damage, they're just annoying because they knock you back. Visions of friendship, yeah man, pretty much. These guys are wicked, wicked strange. Much, <laughs> not sure where these trees are coming from. There's another one here. What about you? No, that's nothing. Oh shit, there's a dog though. My bad. Dog, please. You have to, you must, you must stop. This must end. Right, I don't, I don't have my shield out. There we go. All right, now you die. Holy fucking Christ! <laughs> oh boy, this is the, uh, this is not good. This is not good. Come on, you asshole! Get the fuck out of here! Don't do it. That's right. I warned you. Okay, this next part is gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be tricky. I think. Oh, we have a chest here, too. Read message. Be wary of up. Yes, right. This is good advice. You can see the legs moving on one of them. Probably since we're out of S, this is the safest way to handle this. Just a thought. Actually, we're probably even... I don't even know that you can headshot these guys. So it might be easier just to do it this way. With, uh, with auto lock. Where's the other ones? There's one there. And what about... I thought there was one more, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. It's not a, not a mimic. Human pine resin. <laughs> we'll read that later, maybe. It's basically applies dark to your weapon. A little bit gross uh, to think about. Now, here's an issue. You've got... 
a couple a uh, couple evangelist type ladies up here, uh, and that's a potentially a real problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to uh, take advantage of our our bow a little bit here. And uh, thin the herd, so to speak. Nice, looking good. So as we keep shooting her in the face, she'll keep getting staggered. Uh, which will make a pretty big difference in our efforts to not uh, have her hit us with any spells here. Alright, she got one off, that's okay. And I'm going to do the same thing to this one, just in the interest of not... Dying here, ideally. Can't seem to get her in the face, even though she's got a big ass head. There we go, that's a good hit. So many arrows just sticking out of this bitch right now. Oh, run! <laughs> she's, on, she's on to me. And she is dead, alright. That's the safe way to do that, I guess. Let's get our torch back out so we can see what's up. I was hoping one of these uh, one of these ladies would drop their gear for us so that we can uh, check it out and read it a little bit here. But sadly, it uh, just doesn't seem like it's going to happen. We might find some more eventually here. I'm not sure. All right. First things first. Let me uh, <laughs> see. We're still chilling, taking a nap. Uh... Let me use these binoculars real quick. I want to see... Did I forget an item over there? I, maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't. Not sure. Not sure. Get a better look from up here probably anyway, so... May as well come up here. Actually, <laughs> really, I know there's some items down there too that I should... Uh, I should grab before we come up here now that I think about it. Because I think this is going to lead us back... Uh, in a different direction. But I could be 100% mistaken. Fuck it. Let's just go up. We'll, we'll, we'll go back down. If, uh, either, either way, so. It only takes a second to get up here now that the enemies, uh, I think are all dead. Hopefully. <laughs> what do we got up here? We've got, uh, we've got, uh, Flynn's ring. Ah, yes. Okay, no, I do know where this is going to lead us. Uh, we, we do want to go back down. We'll, uh, we'll come back up here, because it's going to kind of bring us full circle. So let's, uh, yeah, we go back through here. And... Go around through this way. Actually, I probably could have just jumped off the spook now that I think about it. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's do a little bit of spook. hoo Excellent. Handy, handy, handy spell. For sure. Got a large club now. Unfortunately, this one doesn't have nails in it, I don't think. So, uh, it's not going to do us uh, much good, really, uh, as far as trying to use it. And we probably don't have the strength for it anyway. So, uh, yeah, I think, I think we'll leave that be. Is there anything over here? Hmm. Doesn't seem like it. Seems like there should be, though. Get our shield back on here. There's a path up this way, which is kind of interesting. Let's uh, let's all right. Let's come over here for a second. Oh, I did miss something right here. Homeward bone, right? Uh, makes some sense. Yeah, I don't see anything up there. Maybe behind those crates. I don't know. So we probably won't come back here. I'm not gonna worry about it too much. But I think, I think that's pretty much everything down. On this, uh, on this level. Oh, no, here we go. Yeah, there's, uh, there's a body right there. We probably, probably don't want to miss that. What, uh, what have we got here? The Northern, yeah, the Northern set. Let's, uh, take a look at this. Iron armor of a stalwart Northern warrior supported by interwoven chainmail. Iron defense, uh, iron defensive wear grants superior absorption. Being from the North, it should also... Offer resistance to cold. Give it a try. It's probably kind of heavy. Yeah, it's very heavy, actually. Um, well, we can wear the uh, the top part, at least, and still be able to roll. That's okay. 
wear it for a bit. Uh, yeah, okay. I don't think there's anything else up here, so... Let's, uh, yeah, let's go back upstairs. Oh, well, I've been proven wrong again. My bad. <laughs> Excuse me? The fuck is this shit? Invisible walls. Okay. Cool it for a second here, though. What the... <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? God damn it. Shoot you down. We're gonna shoot you down. Let's shoot you down, too, just for good measure. Just to make sure we aren't missing anything. And, uh... A pale tongue. I believe that is a covenant item. Anything else? We good? I think we might be good. Finally. Alright. Uh, yeah. I think we're, we're finally done here. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna call it now. Uh, alright. Proof of a red orb invader's victory over the host of embers. Claiming tongues as trophies was uh, originally the practice of an infamous trope, uh, troop of invaders uh, who offered them to their speechless goddess. So we'll, uh, we'll find that covenant eventually someday. But for now, we don't really need to worry about it. Uh, the only thing we need to worry about right now is coming back through this area. Here we go. Come up around through here again and get back onto that roof because it's going to lead us to another little area with some uh, some treasure in it, if I recall. We'll also check out that Flynn's ring in a second here. Let's go uh, to this side of the roof just to see, make sure that we didn't miss anything. Over here, it doesn't look like it. Does not look like it. Um, alright, yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. So, yeah, you probably noticed there's a, a platform there, so let's go ahead and spook just to, just to be 100% safe with our HP here. And then we can just drop down like so and uh, hang out in this tower. We can actually probably spook our way down this as well. We probably are going to need to, uh, but I think there's, yeah, there's a little bit of stuff over here. A couple more. Homeward Bones, in case you can't survive the fall, I guess. Uh, but Spook should save us here, I, I think. As long as we can hit that platform that's over in the corner there, which I think we can do pretty easily. Not bad. Not bad. Wonderful. What is this? The Chloranthi Ring. Fuck yeah, man. Chloranthi Ring is so good. Well, the, this old ring is named for its decorative green blossom, but its luster is long since faded. Bullshit! Claranthi ring is amazing. And the mirror set! So I guess we could, <laughs> we could wear the mirror set instead of the northern set. Um, I don't think we have a mirror hat, though, unfortunately. Uh, where's the, uh, the mirror gloves? And the mirror trousers. Let's take a look at this real quick. Garb worn by Mira Knights uh, sent on journeys, uh, this hard leather vest bestowed, uh, is bestowed only upon proven knights. Knights travel afar to fulfill their sacred duties, but few are ever able to deliver on their vows. That's a little bit unfortunate. This is uh, kind of cool. I think I like it better than the northern vest anyway. Yeah, it's not bad. But yeah, Chloranthi ring, so good. So good. I mean, you can definitely wear that ring the entire game and never be disappointed by it, so <laughs> highly recommend coming uh, through here to pick that up. But yeah, you'll see where we are right now. We are back by the uh, the tree boss, basically. And since we uh, don't really need anything right here, I don't know that there's any actual like treasure on this platform here, so we may as well just Homeward Bone, I think. Uh, we're going to go to the Bonfire Last Rested at. There's a little bit of treasure I'd like to pick up. Uh, I was back by... It doesn't really, I guess it doesn't really matter which bonfire we went to, but... Uh, there's uh, some treasure... Actually, I think it's... I think it is here, actually. Uh, yeah, up on this platform. I just want to go and try to grab it real quick. Because uh, we missed the jump before, and I have no idea what it is, but I want it nonetheless. Oh, and there's a crystal lizard here, too. Don't run away from me. 
I'm actually shocked that we got that guy. Sharp Gem. Sharp Gem makes, uh, makes for good dex weapons. Yeah, we still need to go up, though, to go back through this other building. Hopefully without aggroing that one guy there. Is there any enemies in here? I don't think so. I hope not. I think there, there is going to be, like, that lady up, up here, though. But I think we can avoid her. And, yeah, let's just try this again. There we go. Good st Oh! God damn it! Son of a bitch. <laughs> Don't know how that happened. Uh, but, uh, you can be sure that I'm disappointed. We're gonna have to deal with this asshole real quick. That's okay. Hate that last swing there. Just fucking beating his ass mercilessly from a taste of his own medicine. This range is not very good. There we go, we got him. And he didn't drop anything for us, unfortunately. I think they can drop their weapons, maybe? Uh, like that saw blade? Alright, let's try this shit again. Hopefully, uh, without fucking up the, uh, the landing this time. Oh, come on. This is not that hard. This is not that hard. Oh, that woman is just fucking laughing at us because we can't do this goddamn jump. Oh, third time's a charm, though. There's no way that we can possibly fail three times in a row. Okay, we've done it. Thank God. What is this item? Rusted coins. Uh, boosts our item discovery, basically. And we've opened that shortcut. Yeah, that's right. But I don't think we need that shortcut for anything right now. So I think at this point, we go back to Firelink Shrine. And I think uh, we're going to chat with some of these new NPCs that we have. So who, who have we got here? Anybody new sitting around here? Looks like uh, Crestfallen Warrior has, uh, has pieced out for the moment. However... Uh, I think it's possible that you can find him outside. So let's let's go outside for a second. Well, this is gonna have to do its thing first. Hoi! I don't know if anybody ever comes up here though. On this side, does not seem like it. Don't see anybody. All right, let's uh, let's see if this fog gate is gone now. It has. Excellent. I think he, he comes out here sometimes. Um, somewhere. I think the dog is over this way. Yeah, here he is. He's chilling right here. Never, uh, I've never actually found him out here. It's actually a uh, very particular looking sword here, which is interesting to see. What's up, man? The poor, wretched souls. Be they lord or legend, the curse shows no mercy. What a sham. The poor, be they what a sham. Okay. Let's see if we can get a better look at what he's, he's looking at here. That sword does look interesting. The gravestone itself doesn't seem to have um, really much going on with it. Uh, we can't can't make anything out. So, unfortunately, I guess we're not going to get much out of that. But he's uh, yeah he's chilling there, so that's fine. We'll we'll check on him again uh, later. But uh, we also have some other NPCs that we can chat with, like uh, we got the pyromancer guy, and we got the. Uh, not quite a firekeeper lady. So, let's see what we got here. We've got, uh, she's over here. Let's, uh, talk to her for a moment, shall we? Oh, Champion of Ash. Welcome back. I was not meant to be a firekeeper. But I am honored to serve you beside the bonfire. The gods are ever merciful. My gratitude lies with them, and with you. I am yours now. Your wish is my command. You know, in my home of Karim, I was a nun. 
I would be pleased to share the tales of miracles with you. Although, to be honest, I only know a few. But if I had a divine tome, I could tell you many tales and more. Oh, only I cannot see. Terribly sorry, but you'll have to find me a divine tome in Braille. Ah. She is, uh, yeah, she is in fact blind. Let's see, uh, I think... You know, in yeah, she doesn't have anything else to say. Uh, let's see what she has. She's got Heal, Replenishment, uh, Caressing Tears, and Homeward. We might read those, uh, at another time. She's got the Saints Ring. Well, that's additional, uh, two minutes of additional spells. Um... In Korean, the saints give voice to the ancient tales. They memorize countless cumbersome sacred books and read them in sonorous tones, a function for which they are widely renowned. This is cheap. We'll just buy it in case we want it uh, later. Have a pleasant journey, Champion of Ash. I pray for your safety. Cool. All right. So we've got a ring. Um, we could actually we put it on, I guess. There's not anything stopping us. Even though it's not going to do us all that much good, I don't think. In fact, actually, we might want to just put on the blood bite ring for now. Or even better, we got the Flynn's ring, right. Ring of Flynn, the eulogized thief. Uh, lowering equip load increases attack power. Uh, Flynn fought with the wind on his side and was a hero among the weak and poor. Yet even his admirers knew that it was a little, little more than I an idyllic fable. So, this should increase our attack power if we take some more stuff off. Um, I'm not super worried about that, but we'll put it on for now. Uh, just because we might as well, I guess. I mean, actually, I guess this, <laughs> this is not going to give us anything, and the blood bite ring really is a smarter choice. Let's talk to this guy real quick. Oh, there you are, unkindled one. I wish to express my gratitude for trusting the lowly pyromancer and allowing me to gaze upon this majestic flame. As promised, I will impart pyromancies to you. But first, you will need a flame of your own. Well, we got a pyromancy flame. I was trying to figure out what he's sitting next to. I think it's a goat or something. I thought it was some bodies, but it's like a charred, uh... It's like a charred animal of some kind. You can see the head there with the horns uh, to his left. Um, a little bit weird, but okay. Careful you don't burn yourself with it. <laughs> to learn pyromancies, you must vow to become my pupil. I know, I know, but such is the way of the world. Respect your elders and so on. And pyromancy, of course, is no exception. <laughs> oh, we'll need a pyromancy tome to learn more advanced pyromancies. Though unorthodox, that would be the most expedient way to make progress. If this were the Great Swamp, and you had the luxury of time, we could have trained you the hard way. <laughs> so I don't know if we've heard mention of the Great Swamp yet, but uh, yeah, it seems that it does exist in this, uh, at least in some universe, some world. <laughs> um, but uh, let's see what he's got here. He's got... Fireball, Fire Surge, Great Combustion, and Flash Sweat. And here's the Pyromancer set as well. So, uh, yeah, we might uh, check that stuff out later. We just got a new set, so I think we'll, we'll stick with Mirror for the moment. Uh, I think... To learn Pyromancer. Yeah, that's, that's all he's got. That's all he's got. Do not be gone. What is it? <laughs> okay. Well, I think that's going to do it for this episode. When we come back... Uh, I think we will uh, move on to the next area, wherever that is. I don't even know if I remember, but uh, we'll figure it out. So until next time, my name has been Rojo, and thanks for watching.